Pre-Hospital Childbirth, Neonate Airway. When a neonate is born, you're concerned with fluids in their airway, both the mouth and the nose. Clearing the newborn's airway immediately after birth is important. The technique used depends on the amount of secretions present in the mouth and nose. Towel versus bulb syringe. When to use? Stop suctioning neonates at birth. Studies show that there is no benefit to this practice and can cause bradycardia and apnea. Towels. The latest school of thought is to wipe the neonate's mouth, nose, and face with a towel which also stimulates respirations. The pre-hospital obstetric kits may not have towels, however, gauze pads are a reasonable substitute. When a neonate is born, you're concerned with fluids in their mouth and in their nose. If there's a small amount of fluids, you can clean it with either a 4x4 or a towel, and you simply absorb any of the fluids from the mouth and remove it. And you can use another 4x4 just for the nose. If you don't have the 4x4s, you would use a towel and do the same thing. Clean the nose, and you may end up cleaning more than just the airway as well. Wiping the neonate's face and mouth will stimulate respiration. A bulb syringe is also included in the pre-hospital obstetric kit. Wait, don't toss out that bulb syringe just yet. According to the Neonate Resuscitation Program guidelines, a bulb syringe or suction catheter is recommended to clear large amounts of secretions and obstructions or when positive pressure ventilation is required. How to properly use the bulb syringe. To use a bulb syringe, you simply squeeze the bladder and it'll push air out. As soon as you release, it'll suction air in or fluids. In this particular case, we're simulating the blue water as being the neonate's fluids, and I need to have a destination to dispose of the biohazard. So it's represented by this empty bowl. I will squeeze the air out, and I will enter the orifice and suction some of the fluids. I find my destination for disposal, and I squeeze the bladder. Squeeze all the air out all the fluids out. I go back to my destination, I squeeze, and I suction, and go back to my disposal destination, and squeeze the bladder until all the fluids are out. And I repeat. And this is only done when the neonate has an excessive amount of fluids in their airway. Bulb syringe demo on neonate. Squeeze bulb before entering orifice. Enter orifice and release bulb to suction. Squeeze bulb to dispose of fluids in biohazard container. Be sure to suction the mouth twice, larger orifice. Repeat this process once for each nostril, making sure to dispose of biohazards into the biohazard container. Suctioning is also recommended to clear the airway prior to nursing. Other uses of the bulb syringe. Clear milk from nasal passage, newborns. Suction mucus, infants. Remove foreign objects, toddlers. Nasal irrigation, adults. Earwax removal, adults. Keep bulb syringe clean. Wash with mild dish soap. Rinse with warm water. Sterilizing. Suction and expel boiling water. Drop in boiling water. Disinfect. 70% isopropylene. Suction and discard rubbing alcohol. This concludes your instruction.
construction. Thank you for watching Lamelli EMS Productions and we wish you nothing but success in your future ventures. Now please take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, share, and don't forget to hit that notification button for future videos. Remember, live for today, learn for tomorrow.